hello everyone welcome to this uh, third part of drone ci tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about how to deploy a react application and any front-end uh, front static application through the s3 bucket with drone ci cd docker pipeline so here we are using drone ci uh, drone uh, using the docker pipeline of a drone ci for deploying our react application to the s3 bucket and we can uh, and we will we will enable that st bucket with a uh, static hosting so that we will we can get the so that we can get all these files so yeah and so and we and we will enable the static hosting in the st bucket so that we can see the content of our st bucket in the website in our in the internet so for here what you have to do is that just you just need to activate your uh, drone ci you just need to uh, activate your drone your repository in the drone ci server so for example let me show you here this is a drone ci server so just go go just go to a repository for example no uh, this repository and just activate the repository and after activating the repository what you can do is that uh, go to the project directory after activating the repository and what you can do is that go to the project directory and go to the project directory and create a file name dot drone dot yml file so this is a dot drone dot yml file you have to create and in this file just copy this command just copy this command and i will give the link of this this website in the description below so that it will be easy for you guys and just copy this command and i will explain everything what we have done in this command so it says it is a uh, pipeline is, is a kind pipeline its type is docker and the name is we are given a name default and we have created a workspace called my path so this will create a this my path temporary directory in the docker container and it will it will act where it will it is a directory in which it will clone our git repository our git repository and all the files in our git repository will be cloned here and after this you just need to in give the steps and testing what you will do so here first of all i have installed dependencies and i have built the file so here we have what i have done is that i have uh, pulled an image node image and what i have done is that i have installed the dependencies of uh, react which will be in a package.json file and I, I have just run npm run build so this will create a optimized build production ready build which will which is ready for deployment so after that uh, i have uh, used this volume temporary volume for sharing the volume between two containers because these two systems are isolated systems this container and this container is an isolated system so we need to share a volume so i have created a temporary volume its name is build file and its path is slash my path slash build where our build file is generated after this command okay so in the next step which name is upload to s3 i have downloaded an image pull an image name plugin s3 this plugin s3 is and plugin of an drone ci for deploying your application um, content to the s3 bucket so and after that i have used the shared volume so this is this shared volume i have used in this container as well so that i can get access to this build files inside this container so after that uh, what i have done is that i have created a drone drone react test named uh, s3 bucket in a ap south h2 sydney region uh, i have to create it in my aws account and uh, let me show you as well Uh, so let me go to s3 
also here you can see don't re drone react test so this is the files that we see okay so this is the file that is deployed uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the s3 bucket do yeah I have created already and I have already tested so there is files in that s3 bucket so let's go here and so uh, another thing is that give the name of the bucket that you have created and the correct reason of the bucket since although the bucket is a globally accessible bucket will be created in a certain reason so first see the reason and create and give the reason of the bucket and give and you should give an access key and a secret key of your aws credentials in the secret secret of your repository so since go oh, since i am using this this repository drone react test and in the settings uh, i have activated so activated the repository and in the this secret part just you need to give access key and secret key you need to just give access key and your value and you just create add a secret then secret will be added here in this way you have to add access key and secret key of your aws account which have an access to full we have which have read write or some uh, good privileges to privileges privilege to s3 bucket so after that you uh, you can use these secrets in uh, in your drone.yml file as this so uh, in in case of access key we are using from secret and this is the access key this should be same as this all right and after that we are using a secret key we are using from secret and this secret key this should be same as this so this should be same as this and it should be given in a settings of your repository in your drone ci ui drone ci gives you a ui where uh, uh, each repository will be there and for, uh, after activating your repository for drone ci it, you need to give a secrets here because these secrets should not be pushed in github and it is very uh, very much uh, it is need to be kept very much securely by yours by you only because if anyone have access of your secretary and access key they can do anything to with your AWS account and they can and make your account bill a lot of money so yeah after that uh, you can there is a there is a parameter called source and target you just need to give the source and targets here you have to give slash double star and slash star because this will uh, copy the directory inside your directory directories as well so if you do only my project slash build slash star then it will only copy the static files not the directory not the directory inside the inside this file this build file so since there is a static directory which is inside this build file it won't copy it will copy only the file and if you do this slash star slash star star slash star it will copy directly as well and then here i have mentioned the volume it is a build file and it is a temporary volume it will be deleted after the container has been created so in this way uh, you can deploy your react application to s3 bucket with drone ci i will give the description of this uh, article in the link below and give and i will give also give the link of a github github uh, repository that i have used in the link description and yeah that's it and thank you for watching this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and give thumbs up to thumbs up to this video so that it will motivate me in future for making such kinds of video for you guys and yeah that's it have a good day bye